hey guys now let us discuss a small and a very simple problem of a epicyclic gear train which considers all the basics of the epicyclic gear train so now let write let us write the question so now this is what the question is in a epicyclic gear train an arm carries two gears a and b having 36 and 45 teeth respectively 36 45 where there are two gears a and b if arm rotates at 150 rpm in the anti clockwise direction about the center of gear a which is fixed determine the speed of gear b so we have to find the speed of gear b if this is the first conditions and this is the second condition And, and if gear A instead of being fixed makes 300 rpm in clockwise direction what will be the speed of the gear B so this is basically the question now let us start with the first step of writing data which is given over there so we have basically been provided with two data that is teeth of a that is 36 teeth of B that is 45 and the speed of this C or A that is arm we can write it as where is that 150 rpm here it is 150 rpm now let us draw the table sorry diagram so it will be basically having a smaller gear and one larger gear so both are connected with the help of a arm let me draw it So this is gear A, gear B and this is the gear arm C. So let it be it as C only so that it don't create any misunderstanding or confusion. So it is the gear arm C. Here it is gear A, gear B, arm C. So after that let us draw the table. So the table of motion so now we are going to draw the table of motion which looks like step number or serial number the second one is motion conditions to be implemented the third one is revolution of element here there are three parts which can be rotated such as arm C gear a and gear B so now quickly drawing the outline of it so that it don't create any mess so now the table is ready 
we draw one more line so now basically the table is ready you can start putting the values step 1 in step 1 we're gonna fix the arm A and provide plus one revolution to gear A. Now correspondingly providing the values since fix zero gear is given plus one revolution and now here it is a case negative sign teeth of A to teeth of B from where this came I can show you here this the whole term is basically the driver gear to that of the driven gear and since it is anti-clockwise it is given as negative now continuing we get second step the second step says that multiplying the first by just x number of revolution that is 0 x minus teeth of a to that of teeth of b into x and the third step says that just adding y revolution it become y here it become x plus y and y minus theta of a to theta of b into x revolution the final step that is total the fourth one writing as y x plus y y minus teeth of a to teeth of b into x so now we have two conditions to be satisfied to find the revolution of the gear b so just i will not explain them in detail so the two conditions are the first one is speed of gear B when gear A is fixed when gear A is fixed and the second one is that speed of gear B when gear A makes 300 revolution per minute in clockwise direction so this is the question and condition determine the speed of gear B and if gear A is instead of being fixed makes 300 rpm in clockwise direction and we have to find the speed of gear B in both the cases so since the speed of arm C is fixed and given as 
वन फिफ्टी आर पी एम सॉरी सिंस द स्पीड ऑफ आर्म इज गिवन यर यू कैन सी द स्पीड ऑफ आर्म इज गिवन वन फिफ्टी आर पी एम इन एंटी क्लॉक वाइज डिरेक्शन taking as positive therefore from the fourth row of table we have x plus y equals to zero. That is, x equals to minus y, and we have one fifty RPM over here. That is y equals to one fifty RPM. Now. Since we have got the value of y and x, we will substitute it in the fourth row column, fourth row of gear B. That is speed of gear B from fourth row. Speed of B equals to y minus teeth of A to teeth of B into x. Now we have all the values. That is y equals to one fifty teeth of A and teeth of B from the questions we have. You can see over here teeth of A, thirty six, forty five, and value of x equals to minus one fifty RPM. Minus one fifty. You can see over here. Now substituting all value in the calculator, you can find or have the value answer as. Plus two seventy RPM in anti-clockwise direction. Now the first condition is satisfied, and it the value of B has been found out. Now applying the second condition. Here, since the gear A makes 300 RPM. Therefore, from the fourth column, we have. X plus Y, you can see over here. X plus Y equals to minus three hundred because it is in clockwise direction. Minus three hundred. Now it will be equal to minus three hundred minus Y, and we have the value of Y already. That is one fifty. Now it will be get converted to minus four fifty. Now since the value of x is known, directly put it now. Put it in fourth column of gear B. That is 
now the speed of b equals to speed of b equals to you can see over here y minus teeth of a to teeth of b into x now substituting the values we get y minus and the values are correspondingly y is equal to minus 150 teeth of a teeth of b from questions we have 36 and 45 36 and 45 and now the newly found value of x is minus 450 so this gets converted to from Kelsey Phi one ten RPM Phi one ten RPM in anti clockwise direction positive so this is the second condition we have found as per asked in the question so these are the two various speeds of gear b hey guys thanks for watching